Alright guys, so I'm on something different again. Reviewing my mate's GS500. It's actually got it for sale. It's a really nice blue colour. It's got an exhaust. Sounds really nice. Delkovic. So I'm just going to take it for a bit of a burn, take it home for the night. And uh, see what she's like. Got a bit of fuel, I'll put some in just in case. It's a primo in this puppy. Yeah, this is a bike. Never really ridden a naked before, so it's gonna be interesting to see how she goes. Jumping on. Seat height's a bit higher than mine. See, it's pretty similar to the uh, FZ6R. Oh, she's got some go. Ooh. Just a bit more go than my bike. That's really nice. It all sounds really good too. Handles really well because you've got the naked setup going on, no frame. But yeah, I'd be interested to see what this thing's like on the freeway because I kind of ruled them out because they were naked and a bit more exposed, but. Feels like it's going to turn in pretty well. This feels really nice. Man, I can't get around that. Uh... Hang on, what's this guy doing? Something pretty wrong. Right. I'm not giving up full beans. Just trying to get a comfy. Comfy position on the pegs. The um the gear lever is really high up. Like my foot sitting there, the gear lever is like up here. So you gotta really lift your foot up to get to it. So I think that can be adjusted, but gee, it's high. Man, I'm really liking this so far. Not as bad as I was expecting, as far as like wind and stuff. These mirrors are great. The indicator's in a pretty familiar position, it's not really low. Jeez, the ergos are really good. Wind, uh, the wind at 90Ks isn't that bad. You know what, this is actually really good. If you get used to this. The first thing you notice is, is the power, it's immediate, it's a lot more, it's a lot more urgent, it's pretty linear as well. I mean comparing this to the FZ6R now, this feels like it's got more power, definitely. Um, it's a lot more urgent, it just wants to move, like you feel it more. I couldn't tell you if the power is the same or not, I don't know, but the seat of the pants, this thing shits all over it. I was reading some specs on this thing last night. It's got a 20 litre tank, which is freaking huge. So then it makes them a, a, quite a good touring bike. I like how the dials are really easy to see. So, well, I didn't think they'd be that clear, but yeah, they're really nice. So, yeah, these bars are a lot wider. I kind of feel like you've got your arms outstretched a little bit, but I suppose you get used to that. The brakes aren't too bad, there's not as much initial bite, I don't think. It's a bit, it's a bit like they don't really have much feel to them, I suppose, I don't know. Squeeze them a bit harder than you would expect, I think, to slow down. That's not really what I'm trying to say. Very 
very deceptive again the, it must be a thing with bigger bikes you don't feel as fast as you're going why did them go too bad they're 190 odd kilos wet but i don't find it too bad it doesn't feel really heavy even at low speed i can feel that wind now it's a bit colder this morning i can feel it all like as you get it deeper down your chest you can feel that cool buying a ninja but you don't want something that small and you don't have a heap of money you don't they don't have you know 10 grand for an f6r or whatever have a look at these men like find them on gum tree find them on blocks they'll come to them around you can get them fed if you prefer that look great bike it's just something i never considered i wrote them off because of the whole naked thing and the whole air cool thing but they're not that bad i'm not getting any heat i'm not Totally, just, any any misconception I have, it's just, it's just yeah, it's just so, it's a misconception. It's kind of taught me a bit of a lesson, don't judge. Don't judge it until you've written it. Anyway guys, that's my thoughts. Interested to hear what yours are. Um, as I mentioned the bikes are sale, so I'll throw a link up into the video, into the description of the video I should say. And uh, you two could own a piece of awesomeness, that is the Suzuki GS500. So uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time.